Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to a brand new video. Now, I did this video and this video quite a while ago and both of them went down a storm. You guys seem to love them, right? And by a while ago, I mean literally well over a year ago. But they were videos about the types of traders in Team Fortress 2. And I was thinking to myself, I covered the majority of types of traders, but I want to do something similar to this. And my brain had a galaxy brain moment and thought I'd do a video about the types of traders that you find in trade servers. Now, I don't use trade servers a huge amount anymore. I used to use them a lot. And now when I go into trade servers, people just shout at me when I use voice chat. Do you send me a trade? Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is what I mean, guys. Come on. I try and advertise that I'm trading, and just everyone in the server will just go crazy. And it's not a pleasant time. But um, I spent the majority of my first, I'd say, thousand hours in Team Fortress 2 in trade servers. You know, I'd always be in unusual servers like Vatican or Fire Powered. And I spent enough time in them to really gauge the type of people that use these trade servers. Also guys, down in the description below, I know I keep plugging this, you will find a link to my Twitch TV. I've been streaming there every day for the past like two weeks, and I've just been enjoying it so much. We've been playing through Dark Souls, we've been playing through Bully. It's just been a great time, so if you want to go and check out my Twitch, maybe drop me a follow and stay tuned, because I will probably be streaming once this video goes up, or a few hours after this video goes up, and I'd really appreciate you guys dropping by. So yeah, we have quite a few types of people to discuss, so... We should just get straight into it. So the first type of person in trade servers, and this is universal, it doesn't matter if you're in an unusual trade server, a Minecraft trade server, or just a trade plaza, you're always going to find the snipers of trade servers. I don't know how this started, I don't know how this trend sort of happened, but you'll always see at least two people sniping each other from spawn to spawn. Generally on trade plaza and stuff, the spawns look right into each other. So you just get people running out of spawn, sniping into the other spawn. And they seem to be in abundance in these trade servers. Generally they'll have strange snipers, potentially killstreak snipers, so they can flex on everyone how much they're dominating the innocent traders of the trade server. Up next, we have the AFK Flexer, right? And it doesn't matter, once again, if you're in unusual servers or if you're just in a trade plaza server, generally knocking about one of the spawns, whether it's red or blue, there'll be someone with a god tier loadout. You know, a triple unusual combo, a double unusual combo with very high tier effect, Australiums, unusual weapons, the works, you'll find them there. And they'll just be AFK. It's like they join the server to not trade and flex their loadouts. I'm pretty sure I've encountered these so many times and it's normally really nice combos as well so you can't even be mad at it. But either way, they're taking up a slot in the server that could be used by someone who's actually trying to trade. Which also takes us on to the free to play or the exclamation mark give me all. In other words, they join these servers under the impression that you can get free items. This kind of merges into another one of the people that random trade and ask for free items, but they're just people who join the server with no real trading knowledge, and they just sort of run around looking at other cool, unusual loadouts and stuff. You may have heard me mention exclamation mark give me all. There's a few like achievement servers where you can put that in the chat and it will give you every achievement item, like it unlocks achievements for you. People think that they can do this and get every item in the game, so you'll just see it every so often pop up in an unusual trade server. Someone type an exclamation mark give me all to try and get unusuals, but it never actually works. Up next, we have the back in my day trading boomer. And I'm guilty of this. I love to reflect on when keys were seven ref and stuff, but there's always some resident in a trade server who's there religiously and just talks about how back in their day, the economy was so much better and how keys were so much cheaper and how trading was so much simpler back in the day. Regardless of the fact they're still sat in a trade server and still trading, you know? I do get that it's nice to reflect on when trading was a lot easier, and it probably is a lot more difficult now, but come on man, there's, there's people here trying to trade, you're just making it a lot more difficult and a lot more of a tedious process for them. 
So, of course it wouldn't be a video mentioning the type of people in trade servers if we didn't mention friendlies. This can go for any TF2 server, whether it's casual or any other real community server, but generally you'll find friendlies, and they seem to be in abundance in trade servers. Remember how I was talking about the snipers sniping across the map? Generally, you'll see a friendly heavy running right between the spawns, seeing how close they can get to the other snipers without being headshotted. If they get to the other side, they'll just stand outside the spawn, normally with another friendly from the other team, with a sandwich in hand, and they'll just be there. They're not trading, they're not really advertising what they're trading, they're just there, enjoying the moment, sandwich in hand. And you've got to respect it. But whilst I was talking about the snipers there, I remembered another type of person in trade servers, quite possibly the... the worst people in trade servers is the tryhards. They join these servers with no intention of trading. They join the servers with normally strange weapons and they just go there and kill anyone that tries to venture out of spawn. Try to run out of spawn as a soldier, get meat shotted by a scout. They'll normally laugh taunt after it as well and if you try to taunt and get them to join in a conga or a kazotsky kick, you can guarantee they're gonna run over and absolutely destroy everyone in that kazotsky kick. They normally have a strange weapon that they're trying to boost. It'll probably be hail zone or something but the majority majority of those kills was actually in trade servers, so it really isn't as impressive as they think it is. And then there's the admins, or the owners, or the VIPs, or the server donators. They'll get perks to unlock crazy items. They'll have the ability to put any unusual effect or any item they want in their loadout. They can wear like loads of cosmetics at a time. Of course, you can generally identify them because they'll have like a Burning Flames rocket launcher or they'll have like valve weapons or some god tier combos. But when you inspect their loadout, they don't actually have any of it. But they're always just in the trade servers and it's quite intimidating because you know they have the ability to ban you if they're an admin. You know they can just get you out of that server within a second. So it is quite an intimidating thing but nonetheless it's pretty fun to look at man. There's some crazy like scorching flames weapons, burning flames weapons and it just looks really cool. The next one more applies to unusual servers but this is what I thought was pretty funny nonetheless. This is the people who use Backpack.tf prices as the absolute holy grail, okay? You can't argue, you can't say anything that will change their mind that Backpack.tf price is the price to go by. So, for example, you could have a one-of-one one unusual that hasn't been traded in years. In fact, the last trade that happened is the one it got priced from, which is when you bought it. You could be selling it for whatever price, but people will still offer Backpack.tf price because... I mean, that's the price to go by, you know? And these types of people will generally get super mad at you if you try to tell them that Backpack.tf price is wrong and it's worth more, and they'll definitely not be willing to budge, and they'll only offer Backpack.tf price. And this is something I used to encounter all the time, you know, especially when you're trading with rarer unusuals. People will definitely try and tell you that Backpack.tf price is the absolute grail to go by. Up next, we have the mic spammer. The mic spammer generally will be advertising something so it's not too bad but they'll just advertise it over and over again and you can't get a word in a word in edgeways if you do try to get a word in edgeways they'll tell you to stop and let them finish advertising before advertising again nearly straight after i'm not sure if this happens as much anymore because the trade server rules may have got a bit stricter since i last went on but it's definitely infuriating if you use voice to advertise and the final type of trader we're going to be talking about for this video is the person who random trades. Now, this happens in every trade server, but generally, they'll random trade you and just offer you something obscure. You know it's a red flag when you join the trade server and instantly get a trade request before you've even put anything in chat or before you've even advertised anything over voice. What you get in the trade, they'll say like, hey, are you interested in? And then a really obscure, hard to sell item normally. They'll be like, yo, yeah, I've got this triple spelled black painted troublemakers tussle cap that I'm selling for 85 keys. Are you interested? I may even go lower for pure. And I've never really understood the thought process behind random trading because what are the odds that you just random trade someone who's looking for exactly that really obscure item, you know? But yeah, that seems to happen in pretty much every every trade server just because they're desperate to find someone who is 
interested in buying what they're selling. But guys, that is just about it for this video. If you did enjoy, then please do remember to leave a like and let me know your thoughts down below. If this video goes down well and there's like other ones in the comments below, I may make a part two. So if you think I may be left out a type of trader in trade servers, definitely let me know down in the comments below and I may make a part two and your comment may just make it into it. Once again, my Twitch is linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you did go and check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. And peace. Four. I'm waiting for a good day. I'm really feeling good, mate. It's never gonna come like skate. Four. I'm so consistent on like my heartbeat. Always up the top like Vardy. In the scene, nobody's getting past me. You think you're better than me, hardly. I'm a once like a one man army. Gotta grind up and get myself a car G. Cop a nice job with the palm trees. But until then, I'll focus on my craft. See, I get a lot of hate like trash guys.